All right, YouTube, once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for Vernon Speaks Sports. We're talking about a situation down in Texas where Chris Beard, I mean, the Herald coach, 2019 coach of the year, has now been fired from the University of Texas. His alma mater fired less than a month after felony domestic charges that weren't solidified. His wife, I mean, his fiance, Randy True, called authorities basically saying that he strangled her, that he didn't feel she didn't feel safe, uh, feared for her life. Then the fiance retracted the statements. I wonder why we're going to find out why at the end of this video. But the university had placed the coach on an unpaid leave after the university had, you know, found out about the charges. She had called the, the authorities. I'm pretty sure it was a real dramatic situation. Because if you look at this clip of Chris Beard and his antics against when when uh, Texas Tech was, I mean, yeah, when he was at Texas Tech taking on Virginia in the final minutes of that game, I mean, he threw an absolute tantrum. I'm talking about to the point where he was on the floor he made a complete scene in that game, which leads me to believe that there is a possibility that uh, Chris Beard might have a temper tantrum problem. And that probably was what escalated that night, because I feel like where there's smoke, there's definitely fire. I'm pretty sure something happened that night between Chris Beard and his fiance, Randy True. Uh, Chris Beard previously married, got three kids, but uh, divorced. Now, in a very bad, bad situation after being fired from Texas. Now, James Davis, the VP of UT Legal Affairs, you know, really brought to, to the forefront the fact that, look, this is, a, this is just horrible decision making. And if you really look at it, it was a situation where there was an act of immoral turpitude and even still, it was just a bad perception even if he didn't do it which i think there was something that did happen it just looks bad now did the university jump the gun and fire him i that's neither here nor there but if you have a situation where there's felony domestic violence and there's documented uh, documented somewhat uh statements and everything from the police i mean you just really have to take into account like how do you come back what do your players think of you after you come back uh from a situation like that so after all of that tom was given for you know for the university to gather some more facts uh during chris uh beard suspension to make an ultimate decision now we're going to go back about 12 years back to the university of georgia crazy story similar situation except that there was no strangling involved if we remember damon e evans the former athletic director of georgia lost a lot of money just like chris beard is about to lose a lot of money damon evans also was an alumnus of the school that he was employed by pled he i mean when he was pulled over for kind of swerving on the road over there in athens clark county in, in the at the university of georgia he pled with authorities as they arrested him. Hey, I am the uh, I am the athletic director. Please, 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 because he knew what was at stake. Um, he he failed to maintain the lane. Looking at a DUI, also arrested with him was Courtney Furman, and to make matters worse, she showed her ass out there. She made a public spectacle out of this thing. I mean, being she actually got arrested for. In uh, what is it? Un disorderly conduct out there. You're talking about the athletic director for the University of Georgia at the time. He was 40 years old. Um, Furman was 28 years old and was not only. Did they find. A situation where Damon Evans had been drinking, but my goodness, to make matters worse. Now, if you think about the lit litigation of certain things, you have aggravating circumstances, which make shit worse. And then you have mitigating circumstances that kind of help you out. But this didn't help the fact that 
Damon Evans had a red pair of panties in between his legs that allegedly belonged to Courtney Furman. Mind you, this is a married man with children, has a great career going on, and is about to forfeit because of this real goofy situation. A $550,000 annual raise uh, that was given to him. Uh, matter of fact, it, it was so bad that moments before he was arrested, he was about to get a raise. $550 million, you just, I mean, $550,000, no telling how many perks that he would have gotten with the university. So I say this as a precautionary tale, not only for men, but also for women. When you are in a position of power, athletic director, head football coach on any level at Power Five and most of Group of Five, and even some of FCS, you have to really govern yourself accordingly. And these guys just didn't do it. These guys just didn't do it. These guys didn't protect all that they have worked for. You know, you look at a situation where Chris Beard was the 2019 coach of the year on pace at Texas this year to have a very successful season. But you fumble it over this. And then you look at that video you look at that video where, you know, he he was just throwing a straight tantrum. That's nothing to cheer about. The Texas Tech fans were cheering adamantly over grotesque behavior by their head coach on the floor, doing all, all this crazy stuff. So as it, as it turns out, Rodney Terry will take over for now as the head coach. He makes about $500,000 a year. And he was the assistant head coach for the University of Texas basketball team. Sad part about this story is that, like I said before, Chris Beard is a graduate of the University of Texas. Came back after leading Texas Tech to the runner-up in 2019. Ironically, that was a situation where Auburn uh, was in the Final Four, probably could have won that game. They eventually lose to, uh, Texas Tech eventually loses to Virginia in that game. Um, but man, Beard looked to be following suit at Texas with what he started at Texas Tech and possibly becoming a legendary coach. He was pretty much winning everywhere where he went. And it's just unfortunate that just bad decision, because I think because I keep referring back to the tantrum, that tantrum, that's a bad decision. I'm shocked that the university, Texas Tech, did not do anything about that horrible display of unprofessionalism by Chris Beard in that game, which you see the clip. You saw the clip of it earlier where he's going to the opposing team. He's basically showing his behind in front of everybody in the country. I mean, this is a national televised game. This stuff is being filmed. These kids are looking at this stuff. This is not the kind of behavior that you want for your leader. Now, here's the killer. A little bit worse than Damon Evans at Georgia. He was fired just like Damon Evans without with calls. That means when you're fired with calls, unlike Brian Harson at Auburn, who was fired because he just didn't win. That's kind of sort of without cause. Auburn owes Brian Harson some money, right? Texas does not owe their fellow alum, Chris Beard, a dime. And let me tell you how bad this is. For the 2019 coach of the year and signed a seven-year contract at the University of Texas for $5 million per year. This also included Two cars that he had access to, dealership cars, so that means they were new. They weren't used, right? 20 hours of jet, personal jet use. That means he and his fiance could have been flying around and kind of just moseying on around. Because 20 hours of jet time, just personal use, I mean, where are you going? You know? And on top of that, Texas allotted him a one-time $250,000 payment for him to move from Lubbock, Texas up to Austin. 
And this is this is the crazy part. In addition to five million dollars per year. He had incentives that, that he probably could have taken advantage on based on his past tenure with Texas Tech going to the um, final four and him being coach of the year. It, it seemed like he was well on pace to, to earn this eight hundred and fifty fifty thousand dollars for winning the Big 12 and incentives for making it into the NCAA tournament. And on top of that, Texas really wanted their fellow alum in the fact that they paid their rival. They paid their rival, Texas Tech. They wanted Chris Beard that bad. They paid their rival $4 million to buy out his contract to come to Texas. So you best believe that this was absolutely not an easy decision on the part of Texas to fire a coach that they paid $4 million for. They paid $250 million, I mean, $250,000 to move him up there. They gave him all this incentive. So that, that showed that they had value in what he had to offer. But because of personal actions, Chris Beard forfeited all of that. And going back to... His fiance, Randy True, you know, retracting the statement saying, no, nah, he really didn't do that. I just look. Let's just be real. Once you found out the logistics of everything involved, Randy True, you realize that you had screwed up. You realize that you had screwed up to the point that you had cost not only yourself, but you also, I mean, this doesn't negate Chris Beard's behavior, but the retraction of the statement was like, look, because of my actions, I have, well, not because of my actions, but because of whatever, we couldn't keep this thing in house and work it out. We had to get authorities involved. And if, if authorities were involved, based on what I saw from that temper tantrum, she was probably at that. I mean, she was at that moment more than likely justified based on his actions on that video. And I mean, if this man will act like that in public, just imagine what he does behind closed doors. But see, here's the thing. Randy True was thinking like, oh, man. Yeah. Chris Beard did show his ass on national TV. He did show his ass that night that I broke his glasses and then he just went ballistic on me this guy has a temper tantrum problem and that's an issue when you're in a leadership position all right so here's the deal you got a few guys that you know could possibly take the the position of head coach at texas hey looks like hell, hell i need to put my hat, name in the hat if they're throwing that kind of money out hell i'll figure out how to <laughs> no nah, i'm just joking guys but anyway, cautionary tale, guys, govern yourself accordingly when it comes to your life in general, especially when you're in a high position, when everybody's watching you. Go ahead and like this video, comment and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports. And this was just a really bad situation for Texas and Chris Beard. Chris Beard lost five million dollars a year. Well, he did get the two fifty fifty two hundred fifty thousand dollars to um, move. Hopefully, he held on to that. But then the actual the eight thousand eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars in incentives that he could have gotten as he was on pace with a winning season at Texas so far. Man, let me know in the comments what you think about this situation. What you think about you know how we put ourselves. I mean, if you really look at the risk versus reward. It just don't add up. All right, let me know what you think. Vernon Speak Sports. We're signing out. Subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a good night.